Hey friends, welcome to Chime Coaching. Rob here. In this video, we're going to talk about business analytics and information technology, a little bit about what those are and which one you should choose to study here in America. Come join us. All right, guys, I'm really excited about this video. Tons of students here in America and at UT Dallas are choosing to, you know, between ITM, BA. These are really great programs, a lot of great job opportunities. We're going to tell you everything you need to know about these and give you the information you need to choose which is the best for your career path. Bellas, tell us who you are, what you're studying, and maybe we'll find out which one is maybe better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. So I'm Karthik Nigam. I'm currently doing my master's in business analytics from University of Texas at Dallas. Mm -hmm. um, business analytics is one of the biggest cohort program of UTD. And business analytics, why I decided to do, because earlier I was working in financial services, mm -hmm. where I was doing a job which was related to ERP and data analytics. So I wanted to do more about how industry works. Hmm. So masters was the best way to know more about it. And I believe in business analytics, the students who are looking more into data, mm -hmm. because in today's world, data is driving the revenue. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, so people want to know more about it. But it's not about just the data processing. It's about what are the actionable insights? Hmm. What kind of solutions a person can give to the standard practical business problems. Mm. So business analytics is designed to do that. Mm. It enables you to learn more about it and how you can provide solutions to the industry problems. Mm. Awesome, Karthika. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, myself is Siddhantra and I'm currently pursuing my master's in information technology management. Um, and some colleges might call it MIS. Okay, yeah, similar. Exactly. But here it's ITM. ITM, IT management. Yeah. Great. So, so prior to joining MIS, uh, I had a work experience uh, as a developer back in India for three years. Mm -hmm. So there I was uh, working as a developer. Mm -hmm. So here why I joined ITM is pretty much, pretty much more flexible than other courses. Here if you want to go for pure technical and pure hardcore programming, you can go. If you want to go for the management side, you can go. It's a technical the blend of techno, technical and management side. So it's, you can term it as a techno management kind of course. Mm -hmm. So you know, today whatever the world is uh, obviously the world is driving with the technology but eventually it all it depends on what is the management decides how to do that thing so whatever management decision that drives from the whatever the technological output so the ITM guys they understand the management problem the management scenario and mm. how that can be solved by technology mm. Basically, the ITM people do that. So basically, it bridges the gap between the technology and management of this current world. So what would you guys maybe say is one of the biggest differences between ITM and BA? BA is more focused on the technology. If you have the peer goal set that you want mm -hmm. to go into data analytics and data science, then BA, I would personally say BA is the best track in UTD because this the whole curriculum is designed such a way that you will really focus more towards data analytics and data science. But if you want to blend your courses like, okay, I want to pursue techno management that uh, I, will, I want to understand what is the operations happening and what is the finance uh, mm -hmm. sector happening and what is the marketing is happening and how to inculcate those problems, you know, uh, how to solve those problems using technology. Mm -hmm. The ITM will be the better option for you. So if you are like thinking like, okay, you want to, rather than pure technical, if you want to mix your courses, mm -hmm. so ITM is the best option. And one more thing, there are lots of people who want to just not data science or data analytics. Some of the people, they want to go to the ERP side, the cyber security, the audit networking. Mm -hmm. The ITM offers this kind of flexibility to all mm -hmm. different courses. Mm -hmm. But the business analytics, as he said, the core is data. Mm -hmm. And uh, data is being generated in across every field. Yes. You can say the technology, you can say the enterprise companies, in operations, logistics, exponential growth, data, mm -hmm. IT, anywhere. So business analytics program at UD is uh, when I joined, it provided an expedi an option to work on six tracks: data science, operations management, IT management, and then your healthcare analytics, mm -hmm. and then your where you want to work different accounting analytics. Mm. So they have different programs, different options, and it's very flexible. If, for example, if I want to work on financial analytics, I can take three subjects from finance, I can take three from data science. So what's happening is that I'm being more equipped when more than two tracks, more than one tracks. You can still specialize. Yeah, I can specialize. Mm. So it gives you more option. Mm. It gives you more understanding how industry is working and what is the expectation. So you are, you are being upskilled. Mm. So that is the idea behind. So even though there's a lot of differences, maybe what's maybe the biggest 
similarity or overlap that you would find in BA or ITM? So I believe the similarity is that in ITM, whether you're from ITM or you're from MSPA, you need to have a thorough understanding of what are the business problems because it doesn't matter whether I'm doing MIS or ITM <laughs> or MSBA. At the end, we are working for an employer for whom he expects a solution. Mm -hmm. You guys are all so, problem solvers. Yes. So if our organization has a problem which is related to data, mm -hmm. and obviously data is right now driving because if you want to come up with some decision, you need some sort of accountability. Mm -hmm. What is the basis behind what's the rationality? Yeah. So the data is thing. So in that case, business analytics. Mm -hmm. But as he said, the understanding of the problem and how the technology is being used, what's the idea behind, how to convey to higher management for that idea will go. I won't get that. As long as analytics is concerned, the working and manipulating with data, both BA and ITM is kind of similar because as you said that healthcare analytics, financial analytics, mm -hmm. analytics. So here that you have to understand what is the healthcare data, what should look like a financial data, what should look like a marketing data, mm -hmm. and put some technology, some analytics stuff to do those things. Mm -hmm. Similarly, ITM, you will study the management, uh, manage, uh, the operations management or the finance management, and you will get, uh, you will have a thorough insight of what should be the flow and what should be the data structure, and you will apply the analytics tools, technology, what, mm -hmm. whatever you want. So as long as analytics and playing with data. That's concerned, then both ITM and me mm. offer similar kind of program. Let's maybe wrap this up. What are maybe some of the top few careers that people end up into after graduating with the master's in this program? And what's the key that you know maybe an incoming student should consider to choose either between ITM, BA, and the kind of career they're gonna potentially pursue? Okay. Top careers is like obviously data scientist, data analytics, and SAP analytics, and you can add the audit, okay, audit system. So as long as BAs and ITM both are concerned, data science, data analytics, I mean these are two major tracks that people are end up with uh, this kind of position, data scientist and data analytics. Mm -hmm. And this, I, as I mentioned, and for ITM students, if you are interested in the networking or cybersecurity or audit part, you can go for this career. But most of the chunk of the ITM and BA student, they end up their career with like a data analyst or data scientist. So I would like to add more, like in business analytics, the highly coveted job is a data scientist one. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, business intelligence analyst, then data analyst, and there's a different set of analyst terms coming up because oh, of your yeah. operations, <laughs> it's operations analyst. Mm -hmm. If you're in healthcare, it's a healthcare analytics. Yeah. So analytics is paying way in every avenue. Oh yeah. So coming back to the questions like what kind of skill sets you require. People think that data science is the highest skill, which is a blend of data manipulation mm -hmm. along with stats, along with a thorough understanding of the business problem. Mm -hmm. Data analytics is more, it's again, the functional knowledge is a key, mm -hmm. but you will be working not on that much on stats. You will be working on the tools like Oracle, you'll be doing SQL, these kind of things, mm -hmm. and you will be again coming up with a solution. Mostly you have in data analysis and visualization tools. Yes. No, no the, the data visualization comes with business intelligence. Mm -hmm. It's all about the data visualization, coming up with actionable insights, so that if a dashboard report is given to a CEO, he won't be understanding what this factor means. He will be just seeing the red and green dots, what are the danger zones, mm -hmm. what are the good zones for my company. Yeah. So that is kind of assistance which usually the CXOs of any company require. Mm. I believe that kind of roles are designed. For. I just want to cut short one more thing that uh, data scientist is just like you are actually you are manipulating the data just you are the modi modifying the data you are just changing the data structure how the before before applying your data science tool the data mm. is looking like this and mm. now the data looks like this. Yeah. But data analyst is you have provided the data just like supple the data and take a valuable insight of the data. So that's why in technological term, if I want to go the deeper in technological term, then in data science, you need to use this all R, Python, machine learning, natural language processing. But data analysis is more, more like, like business intelligence, as you mentioned, it's more like your databases, all the visualization kind of tools. This mm. tool, it's more tool specific. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's great, that's great. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that's a lot of information to yeah. understand 
more clearly what business analytics covers, yeah. what the potentials are, same with information technology management. Both have a huge ray, a lot of flexibility, yeah. a lot of ways to specify and focus into something you're really passionate to, but even some overlap, which is kind of cool. Yeah. You know, you guys will be even working together even if you study different things. And I can say so that I'm right now doing, I was from financial services, mm -hmm. I'm right now doing internship in healthcare, and I was somewhere in the six. So I'm doing a different, different things. Yeah. But I'm trying to solve business problems in every different domain. Yeah. So the point is that people want to do a career which is highly coveted. Mm -hmm. But again, they should be very much clear what they want to do. Yeah. So I believe business analytics is divided. It's focused towards more towards mm -hmm. how you want to go with data roles. Yeah. And IBM is more about how you go to management roles. Well, you guys heard it from the pros here. Uh, Correct the case, the Dom. They laid it out nice. Tons of helpful information. Hopefully this will guide you guys in your pursuit or decision making in choosing between business analytics and information technology management. We love having you guys be a part of this video at Chai and Coaching. We understand the difficulties here in America, um, a lot of hard decisions, being away from family, but we want to make things easier, help you guys achieve your goals. And one of the big ways you guys can do that is to subscribe to these videos. Um, we come out with all different types of content so you get to stay connected, you don't miss out. And you can also connect with us online, social media, um, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and we can continue the conversation, um, leave some comments below, give us some feedback from these videos. We want to stay connected with you to help you in your journey here in America.